Hey, Jorge. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Pretty good, teacher. With all the... The what? The... The feeling. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With... well, maybe kind of motiv motivated. Awesome. I like to hear that and I will take that into account into consideration. Um, Christy, I, I guess you're driving, right? Or something. It's really dark. Good evening, Jess. I'm driving the chair, sorry. Okay, be careful. Thank you. So three Teacher, more. I, I didn't get response about the question of the certificate of of the course mm -hmm. the course um did you ask someone from administration uh in the chat i remember o on I the chat did they reply to you no i get answer you didn't get an answer i didn't get an answer okay I, I imagine they can send to us by email the, the file to, to, we can print, print them, print them. Okay, don't worry, we will see. What they say? Uh, Jorge, I asked about that, and they told me uh, the the human resources of your company have the certificate. Really? Yes. In my case, uh, they have my my certificates. Um, I can ask in the human resources about that yes, yes, yes because i i didn't get a uh, get copy of that file mm -hmm. yes but they have it have the, the certificates okay thank you i will ask for them okay be careful. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we are four right now. Okay, so Jeff, you were telling me what what motivated you, what cheered you up today? Because I'm I'm motiv motivated because tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm come back. I will come back to my to my house. Uh, oh wow. Right now, I have 11 years work uh, continuous. I have 11 years continuously working. No, Good evening, Wendy. 11, 11 days. 11 days continuously working. Continuously working. I have 11 days working nonstop. Nonstop sounds better. I have 11 days working non-stop. Tomorrow is the 12th. Tomorrow is the 12th day. Okay. Uh, so that's like two weeks, basically. Yes. Wow. From Monday, the last week, to tomorrow. From last until Monday tomorrow? until tomorrow. Uh huh. So since the 20th, you have been working out of your house. Did, do you miss your home? uh actually yes <laughs> <laughs> okay do you have Finally, kids yes i have one one kid how old is he or she three years old he, oh he's just a baby yes and and he's the he's the only one yes he's the only one but i need uh, this couple of day this couple of days 
because I want to to go out in the middle of March. 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 March uh huh. Okay, that's awesome. So you want to spend time with him, man? But right now, if I were you, I will take advantage. You know, like make money right now because he's he's just a baby. He's just three years old. So right now that you're young, he's young, you know, later you won't have the time. You know, if you if you try to do what you didn't do today, you know what I mean? Later, you will regret. You will regret not working. I cannot say it. We're recording. I'm not working hard right now you know later it's gonna be like man i should have worked more when i had the time because when they're babies they they don't demand too much of your time and later they don't remember they don't remember you missing but around six seven years old they start recording and everything that happens they remember it they remember it so follow my advice i i just asked i just asked one of my kids well the eldest my eldest son is 13 years old and i i was driving him to cenar for his class and i asked him right hey do you remember that i don't know let me see let me do the math seven years ago seven years ago i left the house i left the house for about five months i wasn't at home for five months And he was like, no, really? <laughs> I was like, really? You didn't notice that I was just I was just visiting you sometimes? No, no. Yeah, and that's because I'm I was always working, you know. But I I I got not divorced, but I got separated like four months or no five months, five months I left the house. And it was a great experience. Because I didn't leave for another woman or anything. I wanted to be alone for a, for some time and improve myself. You know, it, that, that's interesting. That's an interesting experiment. What I could do at my when I was 35, so this was six years ago, what I could do when I was 35 years old, I, I wanted to know who I was, you know, so I was doing an introspection of myself, finding myself. And it turned out to be great. I discovered that I loved teaching, that I loved um, managing. Managing, I discovered that talent. I loved it. I mean, I applied it. I grew up really fast. And and they saw something in me and I saw something in me. And of course, I discovered negative things of me that I needed to correct, which was, for example, being lazy were not organized, not organized with my activities. That was a big problem. So I changed. I became disciplined, more organized, especially for my job, you know. And and that helped. That helped a lot. So you're you're like 40, right? Right now like me? Jorge? Yes, kind kind of. <laughs> man, man, you started late having kids. Yes, it's late, but but it's okay. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, just focus, focus on getting fit, because you're gonna need the energy, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Especially if you have if you have other kids, you know. Yes, That most likely will be that way. So yeah, yeah, keep it up. Could be, could be possible. It's possible. Yeah, uh, it is possible. Sure. <laughs> Who knows? T time will tell. Time will tell. Yeah. Oh, my God. We are six. Where are the others? If I will can connect tonight, I'm still working. Oh, God. Okay. Let me just correct Mario here. I don't know if I... Will be able. Uh -huh. How you talk about being capable of doing something in the future? 
be able, right? In past, mm -hmm. in past, how do you say that you were not capable? I wasn't, I, I wasn't able. I wasn't able to do this or I couldn't, right? The past of can is good as well. So I couldn't do this. And that will be past. Okay, guys, let me do the attendance. It's 8, 11 already before we jump into the next topic, the first topic. Well, he's not here. Carlos Alfredo, Palomo Pineda. No. Christian Nathalie, Eraso Rogel. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Chereguino Martinez. Here, teacher. Thank you. I missed your face. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Present teacher. Excellent. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Riva Joel. No. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñata Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. God. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Okay. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, so I had something uh, pending with you, right? Comparatives and superlatives. So let's see. I had a presentation that I love. Importantly, I cannot share it with you due to copyrights. So let's cover this grammar topic really quick while we wait for the others in a whiteboard. Really quick. So comparatives and superlatives. And I want to open this in a different, well, I think I can see it here. So let's remember that comparatives are used to compare two objects, right? And that's it, two objects, to subjects, to people, right? So if I want to say that I have um, a Toyota and a Ford, okay? We're going to compare a Toyota and a Ford. Um, a comparative could be used to say that the Toyota is big, uh, bigger than the Ford. And I know I'm talking about cars, right? So that's the way you use comparatives to compare two objects. Now, there are specific rules that you need to follow in order to modify the adjectives. Keep in mind that we are not talking about verbs. These are not related to actions because we're qualifying. We need to talk about the... Um, describing something, right? The qualities, the qualities of an object or a person. So, and the first rule is very simple. You need to add ER to most verbs and also the word then. So just like in Spanish, right? You say mas que. This is what it represents. ER then represents más que, okay? So the first rule states that if I have a one syllable verb, let me see, one syllable, syllable, one syllable verbs, okay? I just need to add ER. And no, it is correct, okay. So, and, and that's basically the first rule. How do we make an example? Let's make an example really quick. For example, an adjective of one syllable, everybody? Toyota is faster than the Ford. Oh, okay, so you have fast, okay. And to make the superlative, you will need to add the ER. Faster than. 
Okay. I'll proceed with the example right next to this with a different color. Okay. The Toyota is faster than the fourth. Now, what am I using the, the article? Just for the example, I'm using the article because I know I'm talking about a car that I saw before, right? So let's keep that in mind. You don't need the article sometimes. Number two, and, and that's clear, right? This is very simple. That's a one syllable verb. Monos, well, yeah, one syllable verbs, monosyllables. Now, interesting as well, and this is very simple to learn. The next um, rule states that if one syllable verb ends on CVC, just keep that in mind. If a one syllable verb ends on CVC, consonant, vowel, consonant, like this, look at the camera, consonant, vowel, consonant. So just record this in your mind, consonant, vowel, consonant, okay? So then we double the last syllable, last consonant, I'm sorry, and add ER. Okay, that's basically the second rule. How come? How come, teacher? Okay, let's think about the example, the previous example. If I say big, right? Big. This adjective is composed by consonant, vowel, consonant. So I just need to add another G and the ER. And then I can say, oh, sorry, let me do it the same way as before. So I can say bigger than, okay. And that's it. So the elephant, no, let's use shorter, shorter names. Let's see. Hmm. Alfredo is bigger <laughs> than me. Can I say that about a person? Yeah, you can say that. Alfredo is bigger than me. Okay, just as an example. So far so good? Yes, teacher. Okay. So for the rule number three, it's very simple and very similar to something that you may have seen before. If um, the adjective ends on a Y, no matter if it is a one syllable or two syllable adjective, I want to say verb, but it's not a verb. So if it is, uh, if the adjective ends on consonant plus Y, and then what we are going to do is remove the Y and add IES. Somebody, an example? Uh -huh. Come on, because the, 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 the huh? I forget the idea. <laughs> you forgot the idea, okay, because of my bad singing. Okay, here's an example happy, happier. The, happy. the, butter, the butterfly flies. Or not? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, you're thinking about a verb. Remember, this is these are adjectives. 
Aha, uh -huh. I know. It's all about adjectives when you use comparatives and superlatives. Okay, so let me see. Wendy looks happier than Mary. Wendy looks happier than Mary. Okay. That's the next one. And for every other adjective, okay, in other words, more than two syllables, more than two syllable adjectives, For more than two syllables, um, we add more plus the adjective. An example? What will be an example? For example, beautiful will turn to more beautiful. Okay. And then I could say something like, my sister, I'm going to say my sis is more beautiful than yours. Make sense? I'll fit the screen. Okay, my sister is more beautiful than yours. My sis is more beautiful than yours. And lastly, guys, there's a third rule. It has to do with irregular adjectives. And there are just three. Okay, we have good. Oh, it's gonna do five rule. The fifth rule is just very specific. And it has to do with the regular adjectives like good, bad, and far. So these two, these three, I'm sorry, turn totally different. Um, this one will become better than, this one will become worse than, and the last one will become farther Okay, then, and this is comparatives. This is the way you work with comparative adjectives. So I could say, let's shoot some examples really quick. Give me examples. And again, what, 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 what number? About what? About what number of the, the case? Any, any. Just try to use a comparison. My sister is smarter than me. You got it. It's smarter than me. My sister is smarter than me. Sister is smarter than me. My sister is smarter than me. Okay. Wendy? Example will in there. Any example with comparatives. Bad. Okay. Uh, water. Water is better than soda. You got it. Water is better than soda. Yeah. Simple as that. You got it. Okay, what about longer longer adjectives like nutritive? Nutritive. Susana, Carlos, Mario, everybody else. Um, I'm um 
I'm taller than my brother. Easy, you got it. I'm taller than my brother. Okay. Diana, can you uh, use can you I use know. yeah, yeah. Try to use a longer adjective. Yes, salads are more nutritive than hamburgers. You got it. Salads are more nutritive than hamburgers. This is easy. Okay, so you got be, it. Let be polite is better than be disrespectful. There you will need to say being. Being, being polite being is polite. better than being disrespectful, yeah. Being polite is better than being disrespectful. You got it. So this is on your WhatsApp already. I'm going to move with the superlatives really quick. Which are very similar rules. Now, the difference is that superlatives, as the word implies, Okay, so for superlatives, they are used to distinguish one object from others, not just compare it to another one. There's more than two objects. That's the keyword, more than two objects or subjects. Okay, and it's when you, and I'll tell you, give me just a minute. Uh, okay, more than two objects. So. It is used to say something like the Toyota is the fat or well, yeah, the Toyota is the fastest car. The Toyota is the fastest car I have driven. Okay. El Toyota es el carro más veloz que he manejado. Okay, that's just an example. So, really quick. Rule number one on comparatives said that you needed to add ER, right? So, in this case, for one syllable verbs, I'm sorry, adjectives. For one syllable adjectives, I'm just going to write it. One syllable adjectives, how do you modify them? The same thing, you just add, in this case, EST. That's all you have to do. It's not ER anymore. You need to add EST. Okay? Now, very important, you have to add the article. Okay? Don't forget that when you do superlatives, you need to use the article. So, for example, the smallest, the fastest, and so on. We will continue. So, ants are the smallest animals. Let's say. My my brother is the owner of the biggest house in the neighborhood. Hold on. He's the owner? My brother is the is the owner of the biggest house. Uh-huh. <laughs> you got it in the neighborhood. Neighborhood. You got it, yeah. My brother is the owner of the biggest house in the neighborhood. You got it. Okay, so that's easy, right? The second rule said that if you had um, a two-syllable verb, what happened? No, no, no. What was the second rule? Hold on. Oh, doubling. We continue doubling the consonant for one syllables, syllable adjectives composed by consonant, vowel, consonant. In that case, we double the last, again, last consonant and add EST. Same rule, 
Keep in mind that you need to use the same rule as before, but in this case, you're adding EST. How do you do that? Let's, let me have another adjective. Or well, you, you just did it, uh, Jorge, because I just did an example right now. I don't wanna waste too much time on this. It's just a review really quick because we need to review the um, the ones that I told you, right? The ones of equity. So big becomes bigger. I'm sorry, the biggest. Hey, nice hamburgers, right? You remember the hamburgers from biggest? Yes, I do. I think there, there's still one, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Delicious. <laughs> Let's it make delicious. it was delicious. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. but sometimes I felt some hamburgers like a little spicy. And that was weird because oh. they I mean they didn't they used to add too much pepper to the hamburgers, maybe. I used to think that it was oh, the, the Leroux. I, th I used to think that it was le the Leroux because the problem, what I didn't like is that the Leroux was hot. Lettuce was oh. hot. Lettuce was hot. And I don't like when they heat up vegetables, you know, the tomato hot on the hamburger. Uh, I don't no. know. <laughs> Taste, <laughs> tastes funny. Okay, give me an example with the biggest. Okay, my biggest achievement. My biggest achievement in life, for example, is you. <laughs> okay, my biggest achievement in life is you. You can say that to your son, daughter, or your wife or girlfriend, whatever. Okay, number three. <laughs> Thank you, Diana, you got it. So number three, um, it said that more than two syllables ending on a Y or just ending on Y. I want to make this short. Ending on Y, we remove the Y, right? And we add... What? What do you think? What are we going to add? Before it was I-E-R, but now what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I-E-S-T. Okay. I, I'm just, I don't want you to forget the article. The I-E-S-T. Like that. So, for example, I'm going to use the same adjective again happy how will the happiest make a sentence uh, the birth of my the of my son was the happiest day the happiest day of the the year oh okay my son's my son's birthday was the happiest day of my year to be. Just changing a little bit. Okay. Yeah. My son's birthday was the happiest day of my year. So far, the, the happiest day of my life, the happiest day of my year has been my son's birthday. You got it. Next um, was adding okay for adjectives more than two syllables i'm just gonna do it two syllable or more we need to add what was it most oh yeah the must plus the adjective, okay? So how do we do this?
How do we do this? Let me think about one. Sunday is the most beautiful day of the week. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, let's use beautiful. I was about, no, no, no. Let me use another one because expensive. Make the sentence, Jorge. Uh, Nike, Nike's is the most expensive shoes that I ever buy. Ever bought. I like that sentence. Oh. Wait, wait. So now you don't say Nike's, you say Nike's. Nike's. <laughs> yeah, Nike's. Okay. Now I'm not sure about the writing if it is Nike's or Nike's or Nike's like this. Nike's are the most expensive shoes I've ever bought. There you go. Nikes are the most expensive shoes I ever bought. And the last one. Again, the same rule as before. This is the exception for all the other rules. What were those? What were the three adjectives? Three irregular adjectives? Memorize them. What were they? Better than... Uh -uh. Let me give you a clue. Far, far. Okay, far. Good, bad. Good and bad. You got it. Okay, so now good will turn into the best. Okay, bad will turn into the worst. Just be careful. There's just one letter changing here. It's not worse anymore. Now it is worst. Okay. And here is not farther. Remember? Okay. Is the far. Oh, it's different. I'm sorry. Farthest. The farthest. Okay. Now, this, this adjective is barely used. You can use the farthest talking about astronomical distances. I mean, it's sort of long distance. I mean, it's a huge, unmeasurable distance. Okay, far, far away. Muy, muy lejano. <laughs> okay, so this is what you're supposed to know. Give me some examples before we move on to the next uh, equity comparison. Give me some examples with uh, each one of the rules. Come on, guys. Monday is the worst day of the week. <laughs> okay. Christmas is the best holiday. Mm -hmm. Continue. My dog is the happiest uh, pet in the world. <laughs> in the world, be very specific. That's right. Uh, El Salvador is the smallest country in Central America? El Salvador is the smallest country in Central America. You got it. The pupusas are the most, the most what? The most amazing food that I ever <laughs> ate. Okay, just remove the article. Pupusas are the most delicious dish, or what you said, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dish, I was looking for dish. Oh, okay, pupusas are the least expensive and most delicious 
Dish of El Salvador. Okay, sounds better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good job. So I think that's clear, right? If you have any questions, just go back to to these rules there on your WhatsApp. Now, how do you compare two things when they are equal? When you want to use equal equality, equality. I'm just gonna write it here. Equality. Share or, no, no share, share in WhatsApp. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, the previous... yeah, there are. Uh, you didn't send me screenshot. I did. Of the yes, a screenshot. Yeah, yeah, it's there, right? We have now. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So let's talk about equality. When you want to say that someone is tan divertido como alguien más. Or that you like doing something as much as something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in that case, we're going to use as and as. Like that. Now, this means that two things are equally, uh, you're describing two things that have the same attributes. For example, Diana is or looks as young as me. Diana looks as young as me. Okay. My brother is as tall as me. You got it. Okay. My brother is as tall as me. And so on. Okay. One more thing that we would like to cover is um, Wendy has as much uncountable money as her sister. Look at that. I'm comparing now not two qualities of people, but but a possession, you know, something they possess. Wendy has as much money as her sister. Make sense? They has they has the, the same quantity. They have the they same have quantity. The same quantity. Exactly. Give me just one second, please. Sorry, but my kids are on the age of I want to do this. Okay. Hmm. Let me just recall some information. So as you can see, what we're doing here is very simple. We want to say that someone or something has this quantity, I'm sorry, hold on. Someone or something has this quality just in the same way of someone or something else. Okay? <laughs> Así como en el español, decimos que alguien o algo tiene cierta cantidad Cierta cualidad, tanto como otra persona. So, Wendy, how do you translate the first sentence? Translate, translate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the first sentence. Yeah, Diana, Diana looks as young Diana as me. Se, Diana se ve 
um, tan joven como yo. Excellent. You got it. Okay. And so on, right? Now, let's see another way of doing this. Now, when you compare what you have learned before, you are more um, except, except, I, I have a problem with this word. Esceptico, esceptico, skeptical. 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 <laughs> you, you're more skeptical. Oh my God, I have a problem with that word. Skeptical. You are more skeptical than me. Okay. I don't know. I, that's the first thing I thought. Okay. So you are more than. You're saying you're giving more attribute to something. Now we are learning to compare that you and me have the same the same level. Okay. How do you diminish the diminutive? The 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 the, the, the adjective. Mm -hmm. Then you want to use less. So Francisco, my brother, is less heavy, hold on, heavy than me. Yeah. Now be careful with this because this guy goes on its base form. Now I don't want to say Francisco is less heavier than me. That's not possible. Be careful. Okay. Another example. Xavier is less um, attractive then Jose, someone, a girl will say, right? When something is less than something else, that's the way you do it. Mm -hmm. And this is what you use. As X, as X, as much X, as X, okay? <laughs> less my yeah. cell phone is less, less expensive than Diana. Than, than Diana's. Than the Diana's cell. Oh, 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 let's correct that, Jorge. Uh, let's see. My cell phone is less expensive than Diana's. I don't need to say cell phone anymore. Diana's than Diana's. Yeah. Do you remember the cartoons from Metro Golding Mayor, Jorge? I love that. I love those cartoons. I can still watch. With, with the lion in the. <laughs> yeah, the little the lion and the and the, the mouse. Yes. You, you remember that? Yeah, that's one of my favorites. But there, in the middle, there was a bear, a bear, stopping. You know, walking with a sign hanging on a sign that said, "It." at Joe's. It at Joe's. It at Joe's. It at Joe's. Coma en lo de Joe. Mm -hmm. Hey, where's the party? Where is the party? Oh, the party? It's at is it's at Jorge's. It's at Jorge's. Okay. En la casa de Jorge. En lo de Jorge. Se sobreentiende. La casa de Jorge. Okay. Questions? So far, so good? All good? Pretty good. <laughs> okay. I hope you got it. Try to use this in a daily basis. This is very useful. Google it. Find more examples or ways to say it. You will use it your entire life. I'm sending you this image right away. Questions? 
No, teacher. Ok. Diego Armando, are you working? Um, bien, eh, solo tengo tres alumnos con la cámara encendida. Quiero saber si todos los demás están trabajando, están ocupados. Si es así, si no pueden participar, yes, entonces, pong pongan un emoji en su, en su Zoom, por favor. Ok. Okay, sorry. Uh, el diploma del programa nacional de inglés para el trabajo en Sofor se los envía a las empresas directamente. Oh. Nice to know that. Excellent. Okay, so you should ask your HR department. Let's see, maybe they have them. Hopefully they do. Okay, I will ask for them. Hmm. Okay, so hope you learned that, you apply it. Tonight, we have to talk about, oh, look at that. Compare, <laughs> yep. No, compare assets of both generations on the workplace, the X generation and the Y generation. We need to compare the assets. What do you understand by assets? Could you please type the, the work? Yeah, right away. Compare assets of both generations. They missed the S. Both generations. Uh, thing, things that each one has. Uh, because asset is in accounting is active. Uh huh. Exactly, and there are fixed assets and passive, uh, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. But that context, which which is the meaning of? So what would be the 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 in this context? Uh, what you were saying, Carlos? What is it? Oh, uh, for example, the computer that. The computer you can use the laptop in one generation and the other one is a desktop. <laughs> a typing machine. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I used the typing machine and that was very useful for me. Who who used an electric typing machine? Did you did you use a, an electric typing machine by any chance? No, I just no. saw the typing machine. Did you see the um the uh what was it the word processor? No, no. words processor. So it was like a typing machine, but with a little screen. Instead of printing, you could type everything on the screen and then print it. <laughs> that was like wow. <laughs> and that was faster that was faster because you end up typing and then you hit enter or another key and then and you could continue typing but which was the their juice like a typing machine before computers <laughs> it was like and you know what Urasao used to sell those machines <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I remember it's the same thing. I remember that Curacao used to sell the flip phones. Did you have a flip phone, Jorge? Carlos? Flip phone. A flip phone. Like the, the Ericsson, for example. Uh, Motorola. Yes. Yes. Motorola's. Man, yes. those were good uh, cell phones. Yes. Ericsson was, was good. Yeah, Ericsson was more like music, right? You know, mm. to hear music. Yeah, and Motorola was more for the business people. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, man, those were good times. I, my first gift, oh my God, I'm going to cry. From my first salary, I bought a cell phone to my dad. I never thought about this. Well, my, my first salary on call centers, on call centers. 
I bought him a, an Ericsson, but it was like very small. And the funny thing is that it lasted like 10 years or something. <laughs> he didn't want to change his cell phone <laughs> because he, he told me once, you know what? I dropped this cell phone like 10 times and it's still alive. <laughs> okay. But it, it was his fault because he used to put the cell phone here on the pocket on his shirt and the glasses. <laughs> so he was dropping the glasses all the time. And you know what's funny? Every time he dropped the glasses or the cell phone, he used to kick them with the with the with his foot, you know, like pop and then pop, goal. And the goal. Like the some were the the smaller than the other ones. Yeah, Ericsson was smaller than the other cell phones. That's true. You know what? Let's continue with this topic. Let's use the comparisons. Um, and it those were undestructible like nokia nokias nokias were the hardest cell phones on the market right wendy Chrissy, what do you think yeah i think the nokia are, are the best cell phone <laughs> not anymore do they still produce them oh not anymore but uh at this time Back, uh, back in the days back in the days and a lot of years ago yes they are very resistant okay i remember that the batteries uh maybe you can use the the, the phone like one week with a problem why was that it it makes sense. I mean, why will they last so long? Uh, think, think, they, think. They were they. I I imagine the the owners of the of the uh, companies uh -huh. are, thinking, are thinking or are learning about the materials, and they they improve the. The, the capacity of of the memory and and the materials I remember. Okay, memory materials. There's something else, Chrissy. Uh, the screen, the screen of the cell phone. Graphics. The <laughs> Applications, operating system. Our cell phones back in the days didn't have an operating system. It was just a calculator capable of making a call that's it sending a message did you pay for sending messages you remember yeah <laughs> my god it was like 20 cents i believe to send a, a text message it was crazy now yeah. tell, tell me what was the most expensive cell phone you owned Everybody's thinking. I can't believe it. In, in my case, it was a, a, Nokia, a Nokia flip. A Nokia flip phone? Flip phone. Okay. I, I had a Motorola. A Motorola. A blue one. It was black, actually. I loved that cell phone. It was, for me, it was like, wow. Amazing. Motorola, I remember the Startup. The B3? The V3, yeah, VV something, yeah. That was, yeah. Wow, I love that cell phone. I even dropped it on the water and it didn't die. <laughs> okay. The, the startup was was very uh, high level. StarTech. Sony too. I, I was looking for a word like uh, elegant. <laughs> I had the start deck. Elegant. The elegant. most elegant. Uh huh. V3, Tricia. Yeah, exactly. The V3. Oh my God, you remember it. I, I had a V3, yes. A pink V3. 
Yes. Still, you have it? Wow. No. I... <laughs> oh, you had it. Yes. And you had a little, a little screen outside, right? Yes. Yeah. And then BlackBerry. Everybody was with a BlackBerry. Oh, I have a BlackBerry. I can text. <laughs> Please give me your BB pin. <laughs> <laughs> what? I never, I never had a, a BlackBerry. You know, I don't know why, but thank God I didn't have because right after BlackBerry, boom, smartphones. Yeah. Yeah, it was a major change. So, assets of the um, millennials and millennials. I, I, I was thinking more of the. Activities, you know, that millennials have to do compared to centennials. But yeah, when you talk about assets, hmm, what is there to say about the card of a centennial X generation? Someone. What is the difference between the car of uh, somebody snoring? Alguien está roncando con el micrófono encendido. Just, really? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't It's believe it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, si usted está, si usted está, <laughs> yeah. Señores, eh, si alguien está respirando muy cerca del micrófono, se oye como que está roncando. Y se, un poquito de respeto, por favor. Yeah. Okay. So, let's work on this so you can get involved, a little bit more involved on the class. Let's force the others to discuss about this topic. Um, okay. So, topic number one. I'm going to make your book questions easier. Is there um, generational mix on, no, at your job? Is there a generational mix at your job? It's like you have kids, you have elderly, you know, yes. really, yeah. really old people. You have millennials. Okay. That's question number one. Do you have difficulties dealing with other God, my next dyslexia with other generations. So do you have difficulties dealing with other generations? Like your boss, for example, is from 1940, right? Very old. My wife, my wife has that problem. You know, the owner of the company is really old and he is, he's Turco. Like, how do you say this in English? Stingy. Stingy, you got it, Wendy. Yeah. No, who's got for condition? Stingy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's very stingy, you know, and <laughs> and, gr and grumpy. Good administration. Good administration. Ah, okay. <laughs> So do you have difficulties? Difficulties dealing with other generations, and the last question. What objects um, do you consider belong more to each generation? Just the way we're talking right now. I mean, old cell phones belong to the X generation, right? What else belongs to the Xers, to the Senials? CD players, DVDs. VH. VHS. No, nobody has a VHS anymore. I don't think. I have one. You have one? <laughs> yes, but yeah, but, but that's <laughs> just like a decorative thing, you know. <laughs> Welcome to my museum in my house. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I went to Parque Simon Bolivar like a month ago with my kids and right in front whenever you go there to Parque Simon Bolivar behind the cathedral right 
there's a small museum, very small museum with very old things, very old stuff. You have a, a, a rom play, you know, player. I think that's the way you say it. LP player. You have an old radio, a big box that used to be the original radios, a huge TV, you know. So that's very nice. Okay, so let's answer these three questions together. Make sure you participate. Okay. Let's just have a conversation together. I'm going to split you in three groups. We are 11. Okay, let's go. Ay, qué duro se hace volar. Yo a decir, entendí que era el que, el que había mandado al, al, ¿cómo se llama? WhatsApp. Ahí en, no, no es WhatsApp. Bueno, yo lo vi que lo mandó en el, um, ¿cómo se llama esto? The chat, Zoom the, chat. Uh, the chat, Zoom chat. The teacher conversation. Uh, the conversation is, is so do you have difficult dealing with other generations or the other question there what the, object the, do you it's three topics son tres temas no sé si los escribieron no a ver is there uh generational mix in your job it's like the first question um do you have difficulties dealing with other generations the first uh, loss and the last one what of the object? What no. are the objects that belong to each generation? The first, uh, how, how do you say, me hace falta. I'm missing the last, the last one. I'm there you go. The, no, the first. Right, you have, you have it on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Oh, okay. I'll still send it here. Okay. So the first question is if there is a generational mix, you know, like do you have very old people? Okay. The number one, for example, I need mm, say uh, to Wendy in my job. Uh, if I see millennials, seniors, seniors, really. I think so. 60? Yeah, that's seniors, right? Seniors. 55? In yeah. my job. Seniors. 
Senior. In my job, only my boss is baby boomers. Uh, baby boomers is in 1959. Yes, is baby boomers and me, millennials. Only. Okay. Only two generations. But the age, but the age of this, this, this people is around twenty five, something like that. Yes, I think. Let me check the ages exactly. They are the younger in the in the company. Yes, because it is a call center. So, okay. Ah, okay. there they are need, a lot of young They people. need the energy and the and the strongest men. <laughs> <laughs> and in your case, Susanna? In my case, um, I, <laughs> I, um. I I am a very very older <laughs> in my thing. <laughs> my my collaborator uh, is is a younger. Mm -hmm. Is but is in in my company is a mix. Mm -hmm. But it's a there are three generation in the in the in that company. Yes, see, it's a mix, but it's a a, a I must the must the most the most the most younger the, young the youngest ah okay youngers uh huh youngers um uh, uh, but it's uh, is a uh, the the people older um, is a retired depends. Is it, are in the age to to get the retirement? Mm -hmm, retirement, yes. Yes, but if they are the bosses, they don't retire. <laughs> <laughs> No idea. Yeah. They work at the University of El Salvador. <laughs> and, and, and we and we bring a, a a a paper on the meeting, and I think it's not necessary, but we yes. have these kind of problems on, on my think, company. I think that that problem is for the X generation. I think, and and others, baby boomers and others, but yeah, I think the baby boomer is more. Yes. And they have a, this kind of problems. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's okay. see the the last is what are the objects that belong to each generation? Objects. Like 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 we said the cell phones or I don't know. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, the teacher mentioned uh the VHS, DVDs. Mm -hmm. But DVDs was for for millennials? No. Yes, yes, I had a, a DVD, my brother. I too. had two a DVD. I had I had a DVD. I don't use anymore, but but I I have a DVD. Yes. I also I also have a DVD. I really? Also, and I said, yeah, yeah, I'm correcting you. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do. I I do have some DVDs, some DVD movies. Mm. <laughs> but later, you know, you got a Blu-ray. Yeah. yeah. Many many millennials, we got Blu-rays. 
I don't have a Blu-ray. I never used the Blu-ray, just the DVD. I didn't see the difference, honestly. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and for the X generation, I think that was a VHS. 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 Mm -hmm. Because I remember that I I use I use it when I was a child. You used the VHS when you were when I was a child, huh? When you were a child. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yes. when I was a child, I use uh, I uh -huh. used the, the VHS. And I got to Blockbuster also. Uh -huh, yes, me too. Mm -hmm. I used to, to and, rent. Yeah. Also, I have a digital camera. Camera? Really? Oh, yes. Yes. No, that, that's and, still. And, and, I mean, that's a still a great thing to have a Fujifilm or a, I don't know, um, I don't know what other brands are there for, for cameras. <laughs> well, you know what camera? Yeah, but the difference is that those cameras <laughs> has a have, have, have yes, have something to print. I don't remember. Um, uh, a cartridge, oh. the cartridge, uh -huh, yes, cartridge to reveal the and, pictures. Uh -huh. And we don't use anymore that for the actual cameras, we don't print pictures anymore. It's true. Uh -huh. Now you have a hard drive, <laughs> okay? So, our, our camera, oh my god, what is that? If very old <laughs> oh my god yeah it's very old and it still yeah. works yes and this is the other one and i have a collection of cameras <laughs> what really <laughs> hey that that's a good one that's a digital that's a digital camera yeah camera. It's digital and i remember that is the the it's a canon that's a good camera yeah do you sell it <laughs> No. <laughs> Man, I had a Fujifilm. I bought a Fujifilm with 30X, you know, 30X, 30X zoom. That was an amazing camera. And I had to sell it. Oh, I still regret it because it was a good camera. And I had a lens. I had I had a lens, one lens to change it. And yeah. man, it was a good camera. But it is what it is. I, I never forget that I took a picture of a duck in the middle of the lake. The green mm -hmm. the green lake in Chalchuapa. Yes. Yeah. So there was a there was a duck of multiple colors in the middle of the lake. And I was able to zoom and took a picture. I was so wow. proud of I was so proud of myself when I took the picture. <laughs> oh my god. I did it. It felt like a, a professional photographer. <laughs> it was like ten. That was like ten years ago, a long time ago. Okay, nice. now so cameras are Xennials or millennials. Mm. I think it depends because the different generation have a different uh, models of of the cameras. I think the evolution of the cameras. That's true. That is so true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I think that it happened with with all a lot of things, teacher. The cell phone, yeah. the computer. Even with the cell phone. Mm -hmm. With uh -huh. the, the TV or radio. The cars. Well, I think nowadays cars. anybody uses a radio. The, the Nintendos. I had I had mm -hmm. Nintendo, Super Nintendo. And now you wish you had a, a NES, right? A NES. A Nintendo no, NES. I, I, I didn't have. You never had an NES? I, I stand no. uh, when when used to the agon for that for for uh, for kill the ducks. To kill the ducks? Oh, oh yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that that was amazing. In Nintendo. Really good times. I used to fight yeah. with my brother all the time. <laughs> Over the Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah, you have. If you didn't fight with your brother for the Nintendo, you didn't have a life. Yes. I didn't fight with my brother. 
he didn't love you. <laughs> yeah, like <me. laughs> Come on. Okay, let's go back and discuss this topic together. Let's take okay. it back. Okay. Okay, let's start this topic, this discussion. So first question, is there a mixture of generations in your job, at your job? Yes, there is a mix. How is it? Um, because they are millennials and general generation x and baby boomers but how how are they split you know for example the boss the boss are the are the baby boomer bosses are the baby boomers really yes and the millennials are the the, the newer the yes in the not in the top in the bell in the bottom bottom at the bottom at the bottom millennials are at the bottom yes because they actually are are beginning or starting with their their career and they the they're the new ones the rookies the rookies Okay, uh, where do you fit? Um, I told to my to my peer that uh, I just have to to be patient with with both with both. No, them. wait, wait, wait! But where do you fit? In in the middle. So, what generation are you? X. Oh, okay, you're a senior. Okay. So how do you feel? How do you deal with both the generations? I I told to my peer that I I feel like I need to be patient with both of them because uh, with the rookies, with the millennials, they are pretty good with the technology. They 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 know a lot of software and applications or or programs mm -hmm. but but they they need to be controlled to to keep them focused on their activities and in the other hand with the older men they don't know most of the time they don't know the, the programs the software and they need some some help to to create things. <laughs> so it's the, it's the same case. You need to to be patient with both of them. Okay. Have you ever find yourself in the situation of a senior, or I'm sorry, a millennial, explaining something to the baby boomer? Yes, that happened. That happened. Okay. Have they end up arguing, fighting? Um, yes, definitely. They have their own ideas, and sometimes they propose uh, ways to do to do things. And are they patient? Are are millennials patient to teach? Uh, Yes, they have. They have to. <laughs> they are the rookies one. Yeah, it's like if I'm not patient, he fires me. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay, good job. And what was the last, oh, last question? Give me one item that you consider of each generation, Jorge, just name it. Um, the millennials, tables. Tables? Uh, tablets. Oh, tablets, tablets, tablets. Okay, those are for millennials. Huh, what about senials? Senials, the laptops. Laptops. And the... Uh, hmm. And the... Uh, boomers? The, the elder people. Mm -hmm. The baby boomers? The baby boomers. Um, maybe desktop. That's a good classification. I like it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Okay, Diana, I see you losing control to participate. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I just can't hide. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> um... Um, okay, same questions. Is there a is there a classification, let's say, in your job on generations? Do you have difficulties dealing with the different generations? And name two objects, one for each generation. Okay. And in my company, yes, there are a mix of generations. But it's, it is different from the company of Jorge in my company. The oldest are X generation. Um, then follow millennials. And there are a lot of um, C generation. Zennials. Zennials, yes. Guys, there is a difference. Zennials and xennials xennials that's the x xennials okay and then xennials okay so you have xennials working at, at the company yes because it is a call center and, mm -hmm. and these are places where there's a lot of young people and the second question difficulties dealing uh, I told to my group that I have more difficulties working with my own generation, <laughs> with millennials. Um, with the younger generation, it's easier to work. They follow better. The instructions? Rules. Yes, instructions. Um, and in the, well, in this company, I don't have to work with older people but in other work in other jobs yes and i think it is difficult because they don't like to receive instructions from people younger than them they think they and... can they do they think they know everything yes uh, oh they think that for the age they know everything because of the age because of the age uh-huh they they know everything that's true okay okay and why why do you have why do you have problems working with people of your age <laughs> i i talked to silvia and jorge because in my generation we like to be right always be right so we can have disagreements about different opinions. And at my teamwork, we are all millennials. So that happens. <laughs> we think different, so it is difficult sometimes to create agreements. <laughs> or ideas. Or ideas. <laughs> I bet the most difficult part is to innovate. Because everybody wants to innovate. When you're a millennial, it's like, no, my idea is better. Okay, no, but yours, I don't know, mine's better. And that that's an argument. That makes sense. Make a lot of sense. Now, <laughs> doesn't it, does this happen? Do you have good experiences with senials, you know, last generation, last generation, following instructions like this? It's like you tell them, yes. okay, you're going to do this, 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 and that. You got it? Yeah. Okay, yes. like 10 minutes later, that's it. Is this okay? Okay. 
Yes, yes, that happens a lot. <laughs> and you go like, oh, man, it's going to take him like one hour. <laughs> Ten minutes later, it's done. Okay. Yes. Y después, ¿y qué le, qué le asigno ahora? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you, you may go home if you want. <laughs> Man, okay. And the last question. Name two objects, one for each generation. Two from, uh, from millennials, I think. iPhones. iPhones for millennials, okay. I don't, yes, I mean, the, the cell phone, not the brand. Yeah, 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 uh -huh. the cell phone. And a smartwatch. I, don't offend me, I know what I is an know, iPhone. No. A, smart, a smartwatch, yeah, from seniors. Yes, that's right. Right, Jorge? Smartwatches are for for seniors, the latest yes, generation. Yes, from yeah. uh, From millennials, I, I don't know, PlayStation. PlayStation. <laughs> what so what you're saying is that the Nintendo Switch is more for Xennials than it is for millennials. Yes. I don't know teacher. Yeah, that, that's true, <laughs> right, Chrissy? That makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. And hmm. I don't know what else. I'm not good in this part. No, but you're doing right. I, I because I have a Nintendo Wii. I still have a Nintendo Wii. Yeah, and my kid wants a Switch, so Wow. I think for the millennials, uh, the GameCube. As well. Yes. Yeah. The, the Xbox. Mm -hmm. The yeah. Tamagotchi. <laughs> oh my God, Tamagotchi's are for Xers, for Xennials. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Diana. Hmm. One object for... Xennials could be piojos, right? Please. That doesn't happen to Xennials. Have you heard a Xennial with fleas? Wait, fleas are pulgas, right? How do you say piojo in English? I forgot that. I don't know. Let me... <laughs> what? I don't know. It's just Lose. that. Lose, 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 lose. <laughs> yeah, lose. Thank you, man. I haven't heard of a uh, lose case in this Xennial generation. That doesn't happen anymore. Thank God. Right. Okay, Christia. Same questions. Hey, okay. As I told you, I, as I told my my classmate, I. I think we have a lot of gener a, a lot of mixes of gener of generation in my company. Uh, I I think we have more millennials than baby boomers, but I I I think that we have a good level uh, a a high level of elder people, and I think. Um, uh, the generation is is uh, your age not define your position of the company because I, my boss my boss is millennial and I have co-workers that they are older than my boss <laughs> and and I think they have a lot of um I don't know uh, <laughs> deals <laughs> and, and a lot of good. difficulties yeah. what a lot of difficulties yes. or or, or a, lot of issues. a lot of discrepancies discrepancies yes they have a lot of discrepancies between them and 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 that's that's all <laughs> okay so you do have discrepancies with them what do you argue about? Me? Yeah, with, with I... them, you know, with them. What's the discussion, the typical discussion? Mm, the typical discussion is maybe they want to do something in one way and they don't want to follow the rules that the boss uh, told them, I think. Uh -huh. they, they 
they think that they know more than my boss uh, for for the age, I think, or I don't know. I think it's for the age. <laughs> okay. Voy a corregir esto. Varios han dicho lo mismo. For the age. Uh, you have to say because of... Because of the age. I think it's because of the age, because of their age, because of its age, because of her age. But you can okay. also say is due to their age. Is due to his age, is due to her age, is due to his illness, is due to his um, behavior, is due to his behavior. It is because of her behavior. Es debido a su X cosa. Okay, good job. Now, two objects. Two objects. Um, as I told you, the cameras. <laughs> show them, show them, show them. Okay. I, I have a little collection of, I have a little collection of cameras and I have this one. And this is a very old camera. <laughs> Look at screen. Diana's face. Look at Diana's face. It's like, what is that? <laughs> I, I saw that in a museum when I was five. <laughs> the other one. This is a digital. That's I have digital. one of that. <laughs> you have yeah. one? But it's not yours. It belongs to your father, I guess. No, it's mine. And it still works. We are all there. Yes. <laughs> Okay. I think Christian and I, we are from the same age. <laughs> How old are you, Christian? What do you think? <laughs> 28. Uh, almost. No, no, no. I, I have 30. Uh, okay. Two years. <laughs> I have 29, so yes, one year of difference. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yes, I also have one digital camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's for millennials. I mean, for exennials, I will say, but what about millennials? Uh... Mm, 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 mm. The cameras, the GoPros. The GoPros, yes. Mm -hmm. That's more for for this generation, for millennials. It's like, especially if you if you drive a motorcycle, right? If you ride mm -hmm. the motorcycle, sorry. If you ride a motorcycle, mm -hmm. you must have a GoPro nowadays. Totally. Okay. I think that's it. Or Wendy, would you like to say something? My other classmate, my other student. Uh -huh. Wendy? Okay. Carlos fell asleep, I guess. In my job, only two generations. My boss is baby boomer and me, I am millennial. <laughs> the first millennial, but millennial. <laughs> but millennial. <laughs> okay. Um, no. No difficult, no difficult uh, only. Uh, I comment with Maria Elena, <laughs> uh, my, okay. Um, I make, make travel tickets. I make travel tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, because, but my, my boss sent me email. And, and I uh, send send him send him WhatsApp in WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, in WhatsApp and in all time. So he sells travel tickets. For example, in three days, or for example, Sunday or Saturday in the afternoon, and uh, and he 
he uh, sent send me message in WhatsApp. <laughs> WhatsApp. Uh, he 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 said he sent me send me in email and send send him send him in WhatsApp <laughs> all time. <laughs> Only no, 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 no problem. And I think you, no. you just said the third part, right? So it's not, it's not difficult for me. And the difficulty is, is, for example, I, I, I go to, I go to church or uh, I, I go out my my home. <laughs> it's only. That's all. That's all. It's only difficult. That's all. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I think we can take something out of this. Emails are for Xennials and WhatsApp is for Millennials. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I, I agree with that. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so on our next number, our next stage, we're going to watch a short video. It's just one minute and a half. So let's stay here. Number one, remember, look for new vocabulary. Understand the video. So I'm going to give you five minutes. Stay here. Watch the video. Understand it. Get new vocabulary. And let's share it when we come back. Sorry, give me just a minute. It's on your WhatsApp and it's here on the Zoom chat too. Okay, so we have exactly five minutes of studying right now.
such a short video and there's a lot of words. Okay, whenever you're ready, you may start typing on the chat, on the Zoom chat, any new word that you found. Don't fall asleep. Just go to the Zoom chat and start typing. You will miss me, I know. Someday you'll miss me. Oh, the teacher that used to do bullying on me, the bullying teacher. <laughs> okay. No bullying to the students, teacher, me decían, compañero. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. Harmond, yes. Not a common word. It's not a common word. That's like supreme, right? Literally, supreme. That's a the paramount, the paramount um, effort you could take. You could do. Let's see. Any other word? Okay, go to the Zoom chat and chat and chat and type your new word. Encounter, encounter of the third kind, an encounter of the third kind. What's the synonym of encounter? Let me open the Zaurus that net. Mixture, a mixture. Oh, look at that. It's not the Zauros anymore. Synonyms and antonyms for that board. I went to find synonyms and antonyms. Okay, encounter. I see and counter. What is a synonym for encounter? Interview, meeting, appointment, concurrence. There is a website called the Saurus. Very old. This is a an exennial, an exennial 
website. I'm going to share it with you on WhatsApp. There you can type any word and it will give you any synonyms and antonyms for the word. So it's on the top. There's a little search engine where you can type the word. Let's see. Encounter, mixture. What is the synonym for mixture? Batter, blend, concoction, dough, mix, soup, stew, variety, 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 variety. Hmm. Now you can click, you can actually click, I want to share this with you. Si me, ¿Alguien no entendió lo de la página de, de Saurus? Okay. If you, did, if you didn't, si no lo entendieron, esa página es para sinónimos y antónimos. Okay. Y pueden encontrar varios. So, es, es muy útil. Um, y pueden hacer eso. Mixture. Right. You can click on a synonym. For example. Stew. Stew, guiso. Soup. Soup, and so on. Let's see. Harmon, how we said it. Harmony. 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 Uh, let's see. What is a synonym for harmony? Conformity. Consensus. Consistency. Cooperation. Friendship. Goodwill. Kindship. Peace report. This is a very useful word in call centers. Report. Rapport. Rapport. Oh, the T doesn't sound. Rapport. Rapport. Okay. And antonyms for report. Discord or discord. Listen. Discord or discord. To... Discord or discord. Discord or discord. Dos pronunciaciones para una sola palabra son válidas. Okay. So, what do you think about the video? What happened on the video? What did you understand about the video? We're missing six minutes. And we need to learn how to use all the good qualities from all generations to create a better environment at work. Excellent, a better work environment. Does that happen, Diana? Not a lot. <laughs> it's true. Many companies don't take advantage of their employees' areas, you know, of willingness to work, let's say, or I don't know how to call them, their skills, you know. They don't, they don't actually perform like a study, you know, on their on the skills for each person, that will be great. Because all of us have different characteristics. I mean, some of us are more analytical, critical thinking. Some others don't. Some of the some of us are good typing, right? And thinking at the same time. And etc. Norma, what do you think about the video? I can see the different uh, uh, technologies uh, start with the baby boom uh, now. Yeah. It started with the baby boomers? Mm, yes, I think with the, the computers start, I think. Uh, computer started. Mm -hmm. The initial of the cell phone, I think, uh, star, 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 and what's this? And then I made the cell phone. I, 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 I know. And that's true. I was watching a video from 1990 something, 1992, 1996. There is a salesman on a TV show. And he is presenting the latest Apple or IBM, I can remember. But it was like, wow. So this thing is it was a big box, a 
portable computer. It was a big box, very heavy. So mm -hmm. it it has, and he was very excited, right? Mm -hmm. And the, this one, this computer holds 256 megabytes of internal mm -hmm. memory. And it has uh, one... I think he said one gigabyte of memory RAM, you know, so it flies, it's super fast. You can type all your text, you know, there was no operating system yet. So I was like, wow. I mean, they, they were so excited to introduce that. That that was very different than now. And diskettes, do you remember the big diskettes? Or <laughs> somebody, I don't know. No, that was oh my god and it was like 2000 kilobytes or something the floppy disks uh, okay one megabyte one megabyte one megabyte it was like 1044 or something <laughs> i can't remember 1.44 <laughs> something like that and the first computer I used was a Compact Presario. I never forget that. I don't know why. It was the first computer I ever touched. Which um, system, operative system? Uh, Windows 95. Mm -hmm. But but still, when I was in high school, they used to teach us about MS2. Mm -hmm. MS2. What was like? Okay, but I, I remember the Windows 20, 20, 2020, 2020, oh, oh. oh, Windows 2000. 2000 was the, the more stable. The most stable, the really? Uh, okay, yeah, but, but that was, was, that was XP, XP, right? XP. XP, Windows XP. Yeah, and Vista was like, uh, uh, no, no. I, I used to give support at Dell for Vista and XP, and then they came up with Windows 7, and it was like, wow, better. Okay, so that was our class for tonight. Thank you for joining me, guys, for being very participative. That's very useful, very gently off your end. I'm staying tonight with, I don't know, Diana, would you like to have a conversation? Or Norma, we, we were once, yeah, Diana, okay. Norma, will you be here tomorrow? Yeah. Mañana es viernes y el cuerpo no lo sabe, señores. Muy bien. So you have to be here tomorrow. It's Friday. Come on, guys. Good night, everybody else. I'm staying with Anita, Carlos, Alfredo, Palomo. Present, good, night. Night. good night. Okay, Christian, Natalie, Erazo, Rogel. Present, good night. Good night, Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martinez. Here, teacher. Diego Armando López Rivas. Present, teacher, good night. Good night, Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present, and good night. Good night, Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Okay, Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Mario Ernesto Vieda. Present teacher. Thank you. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Norma Carolina Vieda Ábalos. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Blessings. Blessings. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to do the same that I did to... Uh, Oh, sorry, Christia yesterday. So, um, hmm. what's your favorite place to travel in El Salvador? Um, 
my favorite place to travel. I don't know. I don't travel a lot, teacher, but I think. I'm not uh, your. I'm not your teacher. I'm a gringo right now. <laughs> uh, go to the Cobanos Beach Cobanos. in Sonsonate. Son Sonsonate. Yes. Okay. Um. Where, 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 what is Sonsonate? I'm sorry. Uh, Sonsonate is a department from El Salvador. A department. From... I don't know how to use department. De I'm sorry, what? Departamento? How do you say? Depart how department, I guess. But yeah. but uh department is like the fire station. Uh huh. So I don't know. Uh, it's like a state. A state. <laughs> a state. Oh wait, we have 50 states in America. So yeah, so you have how many states do you have in El Salvador? Uh, here in El Salvador, we have 14 states. 14? What? But you're the smallest country in, in America. 14. <laughs> 14 states. Oh, my God. That's a lot for a very small country. So I got you. So, so yes, Sonata what is the president of... wants to change. <laughs> oh, no. I heard that, they, that he wants to change the municipalities. Yes. Yes, yes. The town halls, because there are like 262 town halls. Not even in the, in the United States, we have so many mm -hmm. town halls. That's crazy. So is it secure to go to what? Uh, El Tunco? Los Cobanos. Los Cobanos. Okay. Is, is it black sand? Sorry, what? Is it black sand or white sand? Uh, it is... Coral sand. Coral sand? Oh, not white nor black, but a little brownish. Yes, brown. Mm, okay. What can you do there? Uh, you can go to restaurants, to hotels. In Dark Beach, there is a famous hotel that is called the Cameron. Um, oh, I heard about the Cameron. I don't know. It's too commercial. I was in the Cameron Colombia once. It was pretty decent. What if um, I want? What if I want to go more like camping? What do you suggest? If you want to go to camping? I think Sonsonate it is a good place too because you can go to La Ruta de las Flores. <laughs> Oh, uh, um, because there are a taco and a paneca, and there are like a small towns. Oh, oh, so a taco and a paneca are like small towns. Yes, but there are really uh, how do you say? I don't know how do you say fresco. <laughs> uh, cold, cool. Yes. Cool. Fresh. Cool. Cool. I'm trying to decode your English. <laughs> it's a fre fresco is like fresh. Fresh what? No, but it is a cold weather. Cold weather. Yes. Oh, cold weather. Good. Good. Because I heard that in Salvador it's really hot. Yes, but in that places. No, <laughs> and if you like camping, also you can go to uh, El Pital. I heard. Yeah, El Pital, I heard. it is in another state. I think La Palma, it is isn't in it? Aguachapa. No, I heard that yes. La Palma, Chalatinango, Chalatinango. I'm from Chalatinango. That's the way they say it. Chalatinango, Chalatinango. Yeah, that's very far, I heard, but do you have mountains and and pine trees, you know? Yes. It's cold. That's a good idea. Have you ever go camping? No, never. Wow. I, I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like camping? No. Uh, my classmate from the university went to the hospital in 2000. 
18, I think, and they went in the raining season. season? Uh huh. Yes. The rainy so season. They had a really bad experience. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't get the permission to go to the trip. Thank God. But I... Sorry? Thank God. Yes. <laughs> Thank God. And because I'm also really allergic. So I think if I, I, I went there, I will. <laughs> Repeat with me. I think I, I think I if think... I would have gone. If I would have gone. Oh, if I <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Diana. If I, I would have gone, have gone. I if would I have gone. Yeah, if I would have I gone, think. I would have gotten sick. I will have gotten sick. <laughs> yes, that's the third conditional. So if I would have gone, I would have again would have got sick or gotten sick, whichever you prefer. If I would have gone, I would have gotten sick. I would have got sick. Yeah, yeah. my allergies would have, would have killed me. My allergies would have killed me. That's something you could practice a little bit. The third conditional is more complex. You have very good English, I have to say. I, and I bet it's because of your job. No. <laughs> no? You don't speak English no. at work? No. Um, it's because I studied uh English for a year don't say in the... Lingua. Oh. Okay, don't say the name. Okay, good. Don't say the <laughs> <Okay>. name. <laughs> and another two years in another academy. Uh, yes, in another academy. Four years. No, two years. Oh, three. Three in total. Uh-huh. And... Okay. One year more here. One more year here. One more year uh, here. My okay. work. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I don't practice a lot of English. I have to be in a lot of reunions that are meetings. In, meetings. Meetings that are in English, but I don't speak English. <laughs> you just listen and <laughs> smile. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. <laughs> I can, I just pictured you in the meeting. Yes, I understand everything they say, but I speak in Spanish when I have to. <laughs> oh, come on. You should take advantage. You speak very well, actually. So get confident and that's it. Just do it. Yeah. Okay. I, think I, I have one question. Please. Um, and it's about another teamwork. Uh, from my work team, it's not a classmate. Oh, uh, it's a workmate or a workmate. Co -co -worker. Okay. A co worker. Yes, uh, he wants to start uh, studying here in English Corporativo, but he took the grammar test mm -hmm. and they send it that he will start in. I, Advanced Pre advanced. Uh -huh. But I don't know. Mm. That's what... not that's not English for work, I say I think. Eso no es inglés para el trabajo, sino es el otro programa. Perdón. <laughs> Eso no, no es inglés para el trabajo. <laughs> Creo que ese es el otro programa que tenemos. De inglés. Yes, I, creo que es siempre aquí mismo, pero es sí. otro horario. Ajá, sí, de hecho son. Hora. Ajá, sí, es el otro programa de una hora a diario. Um, Entonces, él quería saber cómo, cómo se manejan los módulos ahí. O sea, no sé si es igual que aquí, que son seis. Honestamente, yo solo enseño inglés para el trabajo. Rara vez doy el otro tipo de clases. Sí, lo que sí te sé decir es que en el otro tipo de clases es muy. Bueno, es un poco diferente por dos motivos. Uno, eh, se ocupa un libro de texto diferente de Cambridge Institute y 
y dos, que el profesor eh, aplica su propia metodología, digamos, ¿no? Uh -huh. Acá estamos obligados a seguir el TBL, el Task Based Learning, que es otro tipo de metodología, y solo eso podemos hacer, o sea, no podemos variar mucho, aunque ¿okay? uh -huh. yo me salgo, yo sí me salgo del libro, pero siempre uh -huh. tratando de tocar los temas que se tocan en cada clase, si lo has notado. Oh my God. Sorry. Shh. I have the, the guys fighting here. <risa> Los primos, ha venido, ha venido el Chele, que es un pitbull y anda jugando con Max. Ah, ah. No, igual tengo a mi perrita y andaba de loca. <risa> Así toca, pero bueno. Thank you very much for staying. Y, y come on. Cada, cada que tengas una oportunidad, practica, practica, practica. Te encontrás con un chero deportado. <risa> best friend, best friend. <risa> okay, teacher. So you can improve. Good night. Good night, teacher. Have some rest. Bye-bye.